Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you guys already saw the title of the video, the 240's broken. And um, the other day, it was running fine, um, and I went to the, to go get it smogged. And on my way back, it just started kind of like jerking. And I was going to put it into like 4th or 5th and just change the gear to maybe see if it would go away. And right when I put the clutch in, it just died. And it wouldn't start. So uh, my dad had a flat tow me home, and it was kind of embarrassing because... The car only lasted like two or three days of it driving. So then we thought it was like the distributor or something. We checked, there was no spark. And then, so we checked the, the ignition coil and that had no no power. And then we checked the distributor just to see like everything, like all the electronics. Um, the plugs were all good and everything. So we were wondering like what's going on. So we popped the valve cover and then we, we were, well, before we did that, we took the little rotor off the distributor and I cranked it and the rotor wasn't even, or the distributor wasn't even spinning. So we were like, what's going on? So we pulled the valve cover to see if the, like the cams were actually moving or not. And pretty much the whole head is like paralyzed. It's not even moving or anything, but the blocks in the bottom were moving. So we're probably like, the, the timing chain probably broke and the starter's obviously cranking the pistons and connecting rods and the crankshaft, but it's not, you know, going up to the, so the cams. So we popped the um, popped the front. Like I'll show you guys. I can't really talk right now. But um, we popped the valve cover off to see that, and then we popped this front um, like timing chain cover. And the chain's all intact, but down here where the crankshaft connects to like the little sprocket right there, you kind of can see it's like broken in there. And um, that's not really our fault. That's pretty much like the guy that built it because obviously we didn't do anything right there. So uh, we're pretty much gonna pull the engine again and then go take it back and see if they can fix it, throw a new crank or something. But this is depressing, man. Kinda wanna sell this car low key because I, I've just been putting money into it and I haven't even been able, been able to drive it and I've already owned it for like, a, uh, I think like a month or so, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna help my dad quickly un uninstall this, take the engine out. And hopefully it's quick because we're getting kind of good at taking this motor out because this is like our third or fourth time. So, yeah. Alright, so we have everything pretty much disconnected and unplugged. Um, I just got the manifold or the headers, whatever you want to call that. That's disconnected. Got like the exhaust in the bottom disconnected from the headers. So when you pull it like out like that, you can just take the headers out really easy. Um, I think the only thing we need is a transmission bolt on the back. And then the motor mounts. And I think that's pretty much it. And then everything, we could just, you know, yank it out and it'll be set all right so i forgot to record but we pretty much got it out this time we struggled with the input shaft i don't know why we were just doing everything we normally do but um we got it out it took us probably like 20 minutes but other than that disconnecting everything motor mounts all that that was all quick we're kind of all used to that but for some reason we struggled with that but hopefully when we put it in we won't struggle but um yeah the engine is out now and um yeah time to get it fixed again all right, so we had the engine pretty much stripped down, just a long block, literally nothing is on there, um, except for a few gaskets, like the rear main seal and little things like that, but I think that's the only one. And the shop that actually built the engine is gonna be taking it today to see you know, what they're gonna do about it. But the problem is right here, let me see if I can, it's kind of dark, but right here, there's this little like pinhole and there's another one back here. And in there, it has a little like uh, tab that goes in there and over here too. And that tab goes into right here, the sprocket. So what happened was that little pin fell out and kind of in a way got stripped. So when we were trying to start it and everything, this is the crank right here. The crank would just spin and spin and this wouldn't do anything because that thing wasn't even engaged in here. So it's like a negative with a negative. It has to be a negative and in a positive if that makes sense so this would be the little positive sticking out going into this piece over here and um, if that's not there then this is just gonna spin freely not spin the chains at all not spin these not spin the cams and when this doesn't get spin spun um, the distributor doesn't get spun and there's no spark therefore that's why we had no spark and we couldn't start it because that little problem right there so yeah we had to pretty much take all the engine out just because there's no spark so next time you have no spark that might be it I doubt it but that could be it that's a wrap on this video um i just wanted to make the video to kind of like show you guys that the car isn't running right now and the engine's not in it because it broke um just so you guys aren't expecting any mods and all that because obviously i can't be modding the car and like slamming it and buying wheels and all that if the engine doesn't run and um this is kind of why i made this video just you know like i said 
But uh, once I get the engine running and if everything goes right, I'm gonna wait like a month just to see if it doesn't break again. Um, and if it's all good, then I'm gonna start actually trying to model the car and make it look pretty decent because it looks like doo-doo right now. Doesn't, and I'm not even washing it because that's kind of like my punishment, just li looking at it all dirty. So uh, I'm gonna leave it all dirty just so I'm kind of like, I'm not gonna wash it until it's running and driving and then I'll wash it so you know this kind of like all this grossness will make me want to you know finish it faster and get it running um, a lot quicker so uh, yeah they're gonna come pick up the engine sometime before the Sun goes down and um, that'll get fixed um, who knows what's gonna have to happen if like the pistons hit the valves or if anything you know maybe a new crank I'm not exactly sure but that should be fixed with some money with money you can do pretty much anything so uh, That'll be good. I've already spent a little too much money on this car, but I mean, that's what that's the 240 life. You know what I'm saying? Strictly business. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.